Happy Tuesday! It's time for Stories with Sarah Elizabeth. I hope y'all have had a great week. Thanks for joining me again. I am so excited, y'all. Guess what? This week, I'm getting ready to head out for a destination wedding in Jamaica. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I cannot tell a lie. So I am so excited to head out this week um, for a destination wedding in Jamaica. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to tell you all about it next week. And just the experience of uh, working a destination wedding. I am thrilled to share with you all about that next week and uh, what to, like how to book a destination wedding. Um, if you're interested in doing that for your wedding, I will have all the information for you next week. So I'm really excited to share that with you. I'm sure it's gonna be a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, this weekend was great. We had a wonderful weekend, um, wedding weekend. I'll tell you though, at the end of the night, um, you know, it was like one o'clock in the morning and I, I was leaving the venue and I was driving home and I was maybe, oh, I don't know, two miles from the venue and so what i'm doing at that point is i am you know breaking apart the day i am assessing everything that i did how i can improve uh just kind of thinking through you know each element of the day and what happened and um so i was in that state of mind and i was just kind of driving down the road thinking about the event all of a sudden boom all my airbags came out um, my interior lights turned on, the lights that are in the ceiling popped out of the ceiling, my car accelerated without my foot on the pedal, and uh, my car was talking to me and it was saying like pretty much just pull over your entire need right now of some help. And I was hit by a huge buck. But the great thing is, is um, I'm very grateful because I was protected this weekend. And you know, I just pray protection over all of our staff and everybody from transporting to, to events, from events. And um, I'm just very grateful this weekend that you know I was protected. And um, you know, it was a, it was a, the police were like, um, you need an ambulance to check you out because the way that the you know, the impact that it, the fact that it was so hard and um you know made every airbag come out and all the other things that happened to the vehicle you know they were like you should have rolled you should have been in a, a lot worse situation and i was like i gotta get you to make it this week <laughs> so oh no but i'm so grateful that i'm here with you this week i don't take advantage of each day that i'm given in life and i just challenge you all to do the same and to um a, you know not let an accident or something like that make you appreciate each day that we're given here um and so i'm grateful today and um but i'm going to share with you a story today or a little not really a, a story necessarily but some advice for all of you that are either going to attend a wedding or be a part of a wedding basically anyone that is thinking about um you know speaking to a bride at any point this one is for you all right y'all are you ready for this i'm gonna let you in on a huge secret it is not about you. Nope. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about grandma. It's not about Aunt Susie. It's not about Uncle Rick. <laughs> it's not about anyone but the bride and the groom. And, uh, you know, I got to witness a couple things this weekend, and I just kind of wanted to chat with y'all about it and kind of talk through some things that happened and um, just some advice. Um, for anyone that knows anyone that's getting married. Um, you know, I often tell my clients, I say, you know, the clients are typically, you know, perfect and wonderful and I build relationships with them. It's when, you know, the family and friends and other people in their lives start, you know, influencing them or giving their opinion on things. I could have a full two and a half hour meeting, three hour meeting with a client. We could decide all of their decor. We could decide all of the you know schedule of events. Everything is good. The clients are like, yes, I love it. It's great, it's wonderful. They go home, they start sharing this information with people that are in their either bridal party or in their family. And then they come back to me and they're like, Sarah, we kind of don't really want, want to do that. We want to do this, or we, we actually don't really want whites and greens. We want pinks and purples. And I'm like, 
What, what happened? <laughs> Why did we do a turnaround here? And uh, typically it's because they've either spoken to someone or you know somebody has given an opinion on their event. And let me tell you people, like I love people. Y'all know I love people, but y'all are ruining weddings. Like you're making these brides stressed and you know, it's just, it's, it's unfortunate. And so I kind of wanted to share with y'all this week about what happened this week, weekend at um, our wedding and just kind of give you some, um, you know, information on how to avoid this. If you are a bride planning a wedding or if you're attending a wedding or have a daughter or a friend that's getting married, these are the things that we need to be doing for brides across the United States. So here we go. So y'all know that I love rain on a wedding day. It's my favorite. It's, it, I love it. <laughs> I actually hate it very much. It's, it's, it, oh. But I will tell you, you know, in my contract, I actually changed this about 10 years ago. There is a line that states that I do not control the weather. Okay, this is very important because no one is happy if it rains on your wedding day. You know when people say, oh, rain is good luck? I always say rain is new life. Um, you know, that's just, a, that's a Hail Mary. That's a desperation call right there. That is a, that is a, we are like last minute of the game and we gotta do something. Um, because nobody, no, that person that said that did not have rain on their wedding day. They, they did not. They had a beautiful, sunny, 75 degree, breezy, no humidity wedding. They did not have a rain, rain <laughs> all day kind of wedding day. So this weekend, you know, we were, um, you know, we, I met the bride as soon as she got into property and, you know, we started talking about some things and I mean, it was immediate that I could tell that everyone was asking her questions. Every single person that was there was just on her, like, you know, asking her things that, you know, they did not need to ask or concern themselves with. Um, and so I kind of powwowed everyone together and I was like, listen, today is about the two of them and I am here to serve everyone. I don't just serve the bride and groom. I also serve the family and the bridesmaids, groomsmen, bridal party, um, the guests, the vendors. I mean, that is my job and it's my passion and I love to do it. But my main focus is to sort of, you know, stand in front of the bride and groom and kind of block any questions or anything that happens that day. Cause it really is when people start getting stressed and overwhelmed with their wedding day is when they're bombarded with questions and concerns. So, you know, we were going throughout the day and um, it was one of those kind of days and rain specifically, you know, oftentimes, you know, a rainstorm will come in, we'll be fine. We can, you know, we can dry off chairs. Um, but I knew that this bride wanted her dream wedding outside at the gazebo. And I was gonna do everything in my power that I could without having the power to change the weather um, to make this happen for her. This was very important to me. So, you know, I, I knew what she wanted. And so I'm looking at the forecast and it was one of those days that, you know, there was no ra rain on the radar but it was just misting all day. It was like one of those misters at a theme park when you're hot and you're like excited about it. But when it's cold and it's misting and guests are there, no one likes it. No one likes it at all. So, and there's no way to tell that kind of rain. And that's like the worst kind of rain that you can have on a wedding day is just that continuous mist that just never goes away. And so, you know, we were preparing for the day on inside of the barn and, you know, working with the vendors and they were coming in. And um, I could tell that, you know, tensions were rising. It was uh, it was one of those moments where you're like, all right, I gotta do something here because this, this needs to be shut down, cut off. So I um, go into the bridal suite and I um, have to have a meeting with uh, bride, mom, maid of honor, locked in a bathroom and now i know what the bride wants um everyone else is feeding her information uh so you know they're stating their opinions they're kind of like concerned with people that are attending the wedding and what you know what they're going to think if we have the wedding outside and you know it's chilly and all that um, and so I, I kind of let them chat through that for a minute and I was just kind of observing and I'm watching the bride, you know, just 
just completely, you know, just start to stress out and, you know, just not, you know, her, the way that she is and her personality. So I kind of stopped everyone and I said, um, all right, y'all, she wants her wedding outside. I believe because I was watching the weather, I said, now I can't predict the weather and I have no idea what's going to happen, but I will do whatever it takes. If it means drying off the chairs, if it means, you know, pulling everybody in at the last minute to make this work, um, this is what she wants. And so I will do everything in my power to give her this outdoor wedding that she wants. I will set everything up. I will make sure that everything's taken care of and that we are on plan A. And if we have to do plan B, then we will address that when that happens. Um, but you know, I knew that she wanted it. I didn't want to call the wedding indoors at 10 o'clock in the morning or 11 o'clock in the morning. I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait. Um, and so we waited and I said, you just have, you have to trust me. Um, I will take care of this. If it, if it all goes crazy and we have to go inside, I'll take care of it. But you have to trust me because I know that this is what she wants and that's what's most important. It literally rained, misted up, up until about 30 minutes before the wedding started. And I was kind of like, all right, Sarah, like you made the call, <laughs> you're sticking, you're holding to your guns, like it's not gonna rain. But I was kind of like, mm, maybe it's gonna rain. <laughs> it might rain today. Um, and so, you know, but I, I just, I, I just kept going with the plan and kept assuring, you know, the family that we would take care of it if we needed to pull it in, but that I thought, you know, Hey, in the next hour, it's going to clear out and we'll be good. Um, you know, as, as it was like a educated guess on what, you know, the weather would be. Um, and so, but throughout that day, I witnessed people, um, you know, talking to the bride about all sorts of things okay um asking about the guest book asking about like reserved seating at the ceremony and wanting to you know make cards and put people's names on it and make sure that the family had their seats and you know there were so many things that were like last minute thrown um thrown out that you know were never discussed and so i just watched her sort of like get um, crazy stressed and concerned about the day and it literally wasn't until we started going down the aisle that she finally was like relaxing and excited. And, you know, I just hate that for, and I see, this is not something that just happened this past weekend. This happens all the time where people just, you know, just ask the bride and groom a million questions on the wedding day that they really do not need to concern themselves with. But the fact of the matter is they don't know what else to say right? You've, you've invited them to your wedding. They're going to be in your bridal party. Um, you guys are friends. Yes. But you're not talking about things that you would normally talk about when you go out to dinner or socialize. You're talking about, you know, the, the details of the day. And so my advice to anyone that's in a wedding is just to chill out. Your job is to support the bride and groom. So do that. Just do that. You know, it's very easy to see when someone is stressed or overwhelmed. And so, don't make them stressed and stop talking, stop it. And you know, get them a drink or support them, you know, like be excited for them. And um, you know, and it's just, I just see it all the time where people just get influenced by people that are around them and they get super stressed and worried. And really it wouldn't matter what we did on that day. Once that happens, it is so hard to get a bride and groom back and get them happy because they're just so overwhelmed with everything that's going on. Um, but I got her alone in the car. We were, we were driving up to the ceremony and I got her alone for a minute because I had to sneak, sneaky poo, sneak her into the ceremony. And you know, that was the first time that she'd kind of like, it was amazing. She kind of like just, you know, and I felt every bit of that exhale because I knew, you know, we, we had gotten her to this point and she was about to marry the person that she was supposed to marry and spend the rest of her life with. And that is why we were there. And so, you know, I just encourage you all that if you are in a wedding, if you are, you know, know someone that's getting married or you're, you know, you're going, even attending a wedding, there should be staff there to address any questions that you have. And another thing that I did not point out, do not text a bride on her wedding day. 
When's your ceremony? Where's your ceremony? Y'all got an invite? Being an adult, <laughs> like do not, do not do that. Most people have a wedding website. It's very easy to Google two people's names and their wedding date, and you pretty much can find out anything about a couple. So, um, you know, don't, don't be texting a bride on her wedding day. That is not okay. That is not nice, y'all. So uh, just don't do that <laughs> because, I mean, I literally had to take her phone. I was like, I'm gonna snatch it because it was just like boom, boom, ching, 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 all day. So, um, you know, that's, nobody wants that. You know, my phone's going off all day from vendors and people. And so, you know, I, it's constantly going off. And I can't imagine what it's like for a bride to be like, oh yeah, chilling and relaxing and just ding, 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 all day. So don't do that. Be an adult, like find out the information, keep your keep your invitation. That's always, that's always a good thing. It'll tell you where to go and where to be. Um, so anyways, here's the, here's the lesson today. <laughs> It is not about you. And um, although, you know, you might think that you're being helpful, um, all you need to do is just support the bride and groom. Ask them if they need anything, but don't ask them any questions about their day. Um, it's very easy to kind of see someone and go, mm, they're getting a little stressed and overwhelmed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back this up. I'm gonna like not say anything anymore. So um, that is our job. That is our duty when we're in a bri when we're in a bridal party or when we're attending a wedding. Um, this is a special day. It does not matter if you like the food. It does not matter if you like the first dance. It doesn't matter if you like the colors of the flowers. It does not matter <laughs> because it is about them. And so that is our job: is to support two people that are you know, inviting these people that are in their lives because they're special to them to celebrate one of the best days of their life. They will have multiple days, hopefully, in their life. That will be amazing, but this is the start. And so we are to just support and love on people that, you know, we're attending a wedding and that's, that's our only job. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed that and maybe got some tidbit of information on my perspective and what I get to witness every week when people start bombarding the bride and groom. And um, I look forward to this week because I'm leaving for Jamaica soon. Um, but I also look forward to sharing with you about a destination wedding next week and how you know, you can possibly book your destination wedding and some, some tips and point pointers for um, a destination wedding. And it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a bad life this weekend. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. So anyways, have a wonderful week. And again, until we meet here next week, have a great week.